The proposed Child Protection Authority's overarching mandate is, as its name suggests, to safeguard the country's children. In this regard, it will enable the authorities to intervene a lot faster in the interest of any child. Minister Humphrey provided an example. In a case where a child is clearly in immediate danger, where a child's life is at risk, where a child could be exposed to some undue, unnecessary, and in my opinion, unforgivable harm, then the law, this law would allow for the Child Protection Authority to remove that child without a court order, but would have that, the officer would have to apply for a court order within 24 hours. The bill also calls for mandatory reporting from specific professionals and imposes the stiff penalty of $20,000 or two years in prison for failing to do so. In the legislation, we have deemed certain people as duty bearers, persons who in their professional capacity come into contact with information pertaining to children like doctors or lawyers or persons you may take your cell phone to who may see something on the phone that is clearly evidence of child abuse. Persons who in their professional capacity come into contact with the information that says a child is being abused, then that person is duty bound to report that, that child abuse. And the actual child abusers will pay an even higher price. Anyone who engages in cruelty to children, so the things for which we've listed as abuse, that is $100,000 or 10 years in prison. It was also announced at the post-cabinet press conference that the Parliamentary Reform Commission has been reconstituted. If you recall, back in 2020, the commission was agreed on by cabinet. Since then, Barbados transitioned to a republic, there was a general elections and a number of other events which impacted parliament. The attorney general, who is also acting home affairs minister, says it is important. This is to review what parliament is, how it functions, whether or not it could be better made up, um, whether or not we should have an upper house and a lower house, whether or not we should have uh, uh, parliamentarians elected by all of Barbados rather than just constituents. Um, all of these, rather than just constituencies, all of these matters are going to be under the purview of this commission. The commission will be chaired by Sir Richard Cheltenham with Sir Roy Trotman as deputy. Representatives have also been submitted by the Democratic Labour Party and former opposition leader Bishop Joe Atherley. Uh, the work of this body is expected to be concluded within a relatively short period of time. We're hoping that within six months um, they will be able to, to consider all the issues, have public hearings and, and submit a report uh, to Cabinet for consideration. This though is not intended to take the place of the work currently being done by the Constitution Reform Commission. So Shane, those were the major points coming out of today's post-Cabinet media briefing.